What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Huskamanian, back in the building with another fire Hogwarts Legacy video for you guys, man. Today, man, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be able to unlock these padlocks and use Aloha Mora and get the spell. But before we get into that, I'm going to need y'all to do me a huge favor and smash up that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe because we always drop in fresh, fire, and informative content like this right here on the channel so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so you would need to progress through the storyline until you get to this quest right here called the caretakers lunar lament and this uh requirement is at least level 14 to be able to unlock this ability right here this is what the quest look like in case you guys don't know and this is what you guys are going to be going after you have to go and talk to gladwin moon and start his quest line hello again mr moon oh i was hoping to see you again my young friend uh, gladwin moon hogwarts caretaker at your service first uh, please allow me to apologize if i seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigods. So basically what he's going to ask you to do is go on a mission for him and get these statues, these demi geysers. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to sneak around the castle and locate two of these. But before you do, he's going to teach you the spell to be able to unlock level one padlock. So once you get the spell and you unlock it, now this is not a spell that you actually have to assign to a particular slot. You actually will be able to just walk up to the lock and be able to cast this spell. Hello, so doing so will bring you up to this inner workings of the lock pad. And this is where it kind of gets a little tricky. But if you do this enough practice, you'll be able to get this down pack now. The outer green uses the left thumbstick and the right red beam uses the right stick. And what you have to do is turn these until you see the gear spinning. Once you see the gear spinning, you know you are in the right section to be able to unlock the lock. You have to keep both in position until it's done rotating. Once it's done rotating, the lock will automatically unlock and there you have it. Well done. You're in. 
So the spell at this level only lets you open up level one locks. If you want to progress this further, you have to continue the quest. The next one is the man behind the moons. You have to get nine of these demi geysers and bring them back to Gladwin Moon and you'll be able to unlock level two levels. There are 30 of these demi geysers, so it's kind of insane. And remember, you can only get them at nighttime. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out. Make sure y'all smash the like button. And if you have any questions or any concerns or any trouble at all, make sure you leave it right in the comment section and I'll be there to help you guys out. I appreciate you guys. Make sure y'all check out some of the other contents that we got here on the channel. I'm out of here though. Peace.